hi guys hope you're doing well this is another quick tutorial about buffer overflow prep lab on try hack me um, I know there's loads of material already on um, YouTube and other platforms but the thing that um, sort of uh, posed the biggest problem for me myself was the first stage where I had to access the VM so I'll tell you where I was stuck up and I had to spend about two three days until I uh, solved the problems I asked those questions on many platforms none of them came back to me so the way I sorted that problem out I will share that with you quickly so when we go on try hack me um, we go learn I'll be quick as quick as I can um, then over here let's go to buffer overflow and I think this is the, the first one that's that one buffer overflow prep so when we go here and let's start the machine as well so we start the machine uh, I shouldn't have done it here I should have started it on Kelly but it doesn't matter um, let's quickly go to Kelly instead So let's go here sorry about that so the when I try to um, the remote desktop into the machine um, it gave me the error which uh, I will share with you in a minute it's actually this one but let's go there first on to the Kali so let it load sorry I should have started it that would have saved a minute or two of yours the problem with the um, with the free softwares and open source softwares is that they sometimes take loads and loads of time so the best thing is just share your skills online uh, once you solve the problem then share it so that the other people do not have to sort of waste that much time just like I am doing so over here um, let's go to uh, try hack me from here stop this one over here so let's go to try hack me because this one this is my VM is connected with the NAT interface and that's why it's a bit slow so we go to learn sorry I'm, I'm gonna be as quick as I can then search and then and let's go here buffer and that's the first one it gives us this is the one the first one I'm logged in already So over here, because I I'd started the, this machine on my uh, main host machine, machine, so it's showing the same IP, and the machine is already running. Even if I refresh it, you'll see the IP address is going to be the same. Now that's the IP address 10.10.110.175. Now look at this. The first step when we uh, deploy the VM and gain access uh, de again access to the VM which is Windows 7 32 bit this machine has immunity debugger and uh, rest of the requirements fulfilled so it's a ready machine um, victim machine so um, this IP address automatically gets translated here so you don't have to edit it all we have to do is according to this tutorial we copy paste this one and you will see that's the reason why the purpose of this video is right here so when we copy it it says 
x3 um, rdp command on kelly so i go on kelly here and then um, sorry before going um, uh, before starting any of the labs as you know i will have to uh, open the uh, open vpn and uh, just to connect the vpn so that that open vpn document is on my in my download so cd downloads here if you see ls that's the open vpn that will create a vpn connection between my kali linux and um, uh, try hack me machine so I will uh, just run it it is sudo yeah open VPN and then this command sudo open VPN and the name of your um, uh, open VPN file enter and then of course Kali and that's it it's gonna create a um, VPN tunnel once you see this entry here that means your um, connectivity has been established if not then you might have to re-download the the file most of you know it and also keep this file open and running so from here file open a new tab and this is where we'll do the rest of the stuff and if I double click on this one the open VPN tab uh, why is it not yeah I will rename it open VPN yeah here and we'll do the rest of the stuff here now over here according to this tutorial if I enter this command I should gain access to Windows 7 yeah so let's see control C and then shift control V here look there you go this error this bloody error it took two days more than two days rather two nights and probably two days I've been running in here and there like a headless chicken couldn't find the solution to that eventually I I got it it, it is so simple you will not spend that much time I asked so many platforms so many experts even the ones who make videos on buffer overflow none of them uh, answered uh, to my question now strangely this is the first step of this uh, lab if we cannot gain access to this VM of course it's pointless you know um, the task 2 and task 3 and all that this is where I was stuck and the problem was this um, where is it gone this one it's basically the machine we are trying to connect is Windows 7 and Windows 7 has a compatibility issue um, with um, OpenSSL um, because of that we have to I mean I wouldn't go into that detail but uh, it's TLS 1.2 and SHA 1 so we have to change it from 1 to 0 and blah blah it's very very complicated I couldn't do it so without wasting time on that I'll tell you the simple way of that um, what uh, we'll do is uh, we've got another um, uh, remote desktop App called Remina. Uh, sorry, double M. Double M I N A. Do not use the whole command. It will not work again. If you, for example, if I use that command with the Remina, it's not gonna work. Again, with the same IP. If you try, look, the IP is correct. Yeah, ten dot ten dot. 110.175 and even here it is 10.10.110.175 it's not gonna work even here it might work uh, now it's same error why because of the compatibility issue now this is where the solution is what you have to do is instead of using this whole command let's go into Remina there we go over here Remina will open a new window from here we'll connect the, um, the we will establish a connection RDP connection so we've got others as well you can download Remina that's that's easy so we'll establish an RDP let's go here we add we hit plus button over here you can name it uh, 
whatever way you want yeah so um, that's the server IP which is 10.10.110.175 you can name it any for example buffer overflow that's fine and then that's the IP address and the username they've given it is admin small a and password is P A S S W O R D password it's not gonna connect if I do it from here even we have to do another thing and that's where the key is you go to advance and right here uh, where is the where is where is that uh, default yes the TLS we have to uh, set the compatibility so default is not compatible with Windows 7 so we click it and we make it zero we hit this one and then we connect save and connect there we go and you just hit yes and that's the Windows 7 now we've accessed it and uh, let me quickly do the first um, lab here and then yes when we go here you have to click this home network and then just minimize it and what it says the first one is da 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 so we have connected it so let's do this task two um, yeah it's simple it's simple we have to um, open immunity debugger so one thing I should have told you that you can change the the size of this interface as well um, for example uh, da, 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 da. over here if I go here and it's uh, this one let's edit it let's edit it because I just want to increase the the size of the screen so from here where is it basic yeah it's in basic so we go down and over here instead of use initial window size we use client resolution and then save and connect and boom there we go so we've got full view of windows the, the first task is open um, immunity debugger as administrator we do it there we go and then quickly file open and it's on uh, desktop somewhere desktop uh, where is desktop ah, here somewhere here where is desktop sorry I should have gone here desktop and then there's a folder for the yeah I think it's vulnerable apps let's quickly see where it is Oh, no, yeah, yeah, vulnerable apps and da, 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 OS, uh, yeah, OSCP.exe will open that. So, vulnerable apps, double click that, open it, and we go to OSCP and that OSCP.exe. We open it, there we go, here it is, and as you can see, it is paused strangely we can't see it let's uh, readjust the window size a little bit sorry I'm using the touchpad So once we um, get here, we have to start it as you can probably see from here. Yes, you see, um, 
it's paused as you can see here on the right hand side corner and if we run it uh, we'll have to go at the top again so you'll have to adjust the window size so we we click this red button and there we go and if you scroll down and yeah you see it's running now and then you will um, enter the first code that's it that's it I wouldn't take more of your time um, again um, quickly use the uh, Ramina right here let me disconnect it and then reconnect it for you guys so remember Ramina must be open and uh, running in this window yes that's another very important thing when we run Ramina in one of these win uh, one of these tabs in Kali Linux leave that tab for example like this and let's name it as Ramina leave it open because the moment you exit it Ramina gets disconnected just like the VPN so for example control C if we do Ramina should get disconnected yeah yeah it's disconnected so we do it again Ramina where is it gone yeah, that's it I mean I wouldn't go much into details what's happening Yeah, it says fail to register because it's already open yeah so yes and now we'll open Ramina again yes there it is so again quickly the same thing plus I mean I've saved it here but let's delete it yes this is another one so forget about this so plus and we'll name it as buffer overflow leave this as RDP remember leave this option as RDP and server IP was 10.10. Uh, what was that 10.10.110.175 so 10. .10 10. One ten dot one seven five one ten dot one seven five and username was small a admin password was P A S S W O R D password and we'll do one more thing we'll change this resolution to user or client resolution let's see we can we can uh, customize it according to our needs as well but I use this one and that's it and save and connect and there you go Windows and from there you get the access to the VM and then um, you do the um, the labs there we go so happy labbing bye